hello students welcome to engineers academy do hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time knowing that the tension in cable ab is 570 newton determine moment about each of the coordinate axis of the force exerted on the plate at b so we are given the tension in this uh, rope ab which is 570 newton and we have to consider the tension at point b so if, if we are going to consider the tension at point b then the tension is going to be in this direction from B to A. It has a magnitude of 570 Newton. And we are asked to find the moment about e each of the coordinate axis. So we have to find the moment about the x axis. We have to find the moment about the y axis at O and we have to find the moment about the z axis. So we have to find the moment at O about the x, y and z axis. Now it's up to you guys. You guys can use the cross product method. So if we use the cross product method, then the moment about point O will be equal to the position vector of B relative to O cross product with the tension from B to A vector. So this is the cross product method. And we can use the scalar method if we find, if we use the moment equals to f times d the force times the perpendicular distance so f so to use this formula what we need to do is that we need to find we need to represent that tension from b to a in terms of its x y and z components or we can say that we need to find the components of this 570 newton force so we will replace this tension by its components so we will have tx component we will have uh, Tx like this, we will have Tz and we will have Ty. And then considering those components using this formula, we can find the moment about the x, y and z. Let's solve this problem using both the methods, right? So we are going to find the moment by the cross method and this method as well, right? So if you want to find the moment about O using the cross, ma uh, pro cross, cross product method, we have to find the position vector of B relative to O. So the position vector of B relative to O will be a vector from O to B like this. So this will be our position vector of B relative to O from O to B and the tension in the rope is in this direction. So this will be T B A and the magnitude is 570 Newton. So we have to find the position vector of B relative to O. So as we can see that again we have to start from O and we'll try to reach that point B. So point B is along the x axis. So there is only we only need to move 900 mm in the positive x. So this means that 900 mm in the positive x means that 900 mm in the positive i. So since we have reached point B by only traveling in the x direction, so this means that the j and k components of the position vector of B relative to O is zero. And similarly, we have to represent that uh, tension, the, that tension in rope AB from B to A as a Cartesian vector. So this will be equal to TBA. Its magnitude is 570. So 570 multiplied by the unit vector from B to A. And this is 570. And the unit vector from B to A is the position vector from B to A divided by the magnitude of the position vector from B to A. So this is equal to TBA vector 570, the position vector from B to A. So we have to find the position vector from B to A. Again, we need to start from B and we'll try to reach that point A while moving along the X, Y and Z axis. So from X, from point B, we need to travel this 900 mm distance in the negative x since this is the positive x we have traveled in the opposite direction so 900 mm in the negative x means 900 mm in the negative i so we have reached the origin then from the origin we need to move 600 mm in the positive y so 600 mm in the positive y means 600 mm in the positive j so we will reach somewhere here and then from here we need to move 360 mm in the positive z. So in the positive k we need to move 360 mm. And the magnitude of this will be 900 square plus 600 square plus 
360 square. So, this magnitude is 1140. So, now we can say that T B A vector Cartesian vector is equal to. So, we can multiply the magnitude of the tension with this divided by this right. So, we can consider it is uh, we can say that this is 570 into minus 900 divided by 1140 I plus 600 divided by 1140j plus 360 divided by 1140k. And by multiplying the magnitude with each and every component, we will be able to find the x, y and z component of the tension which is acting from B to A. So, this is equal to if we multiply the magnitude with the with the i component that is minus 450. and 360 so this is 180 so plus 180k so this is the cartesian vector representation of the tension which is acting from b to a so now uh, we need to find the moment about point o so the moment about point o will be equal to we need to use the determinant method so i j and k and the components of the position vector of B related to O. So, this is minus 900. The units of this is in mm. Let us say this is in mm. And as you guys can see, this is in mm as well. And this magnitude is in mm as well. So, the mm will cancel out with mm. And ultimately, we are having the units of this in the in the units of this magnitude. So, magnitude is given in 570 Newton. So, the this tension of B uh, uh, T B A mag uh, unit is in Newtons. So, this is minus 450 I plus 300 J plus 180 K Newton, right. So, these components are in Newton. So, if you guys want to find the moment about O in the SI units, we need to convert this into meters. So, we need to divide it by 1000. So, 900 divided by 1000 is 0 0.9. So, we can say that the position vector of B relative to O in the units of meters, this is minus 0 0.9 I plus 0 J plus 0 K. So, this is in meters. So, here we will use mi uh, minus 0 0.9. Uh, sorry guys, this is not negative, this is positive since the position vector of B relative to O is from O to B. So, from O to B we need to travel 900 mm in the positive x, right. So, this is plus. So, this is plus 900. So, plus 0 0.9, 0 and 0. We will write this is 0 and 0. And the components of TBA, so minus 450. 380. So, the moment about point O due to that tension at B. So, for I we have to hide this column and this row. So, 0 into 180 minus 0. So, this is 0 I. So, we can say 0 I for J. We need to hide this row and this column. So, 0 0.9 into this minus 0. And with j, we always need to write minus sign while finding the determinant. So, for j, it is 0 0.9 into 180 minus 0. And for k, hide this row and this column. So, 0 0.9 into 300 minus 0. So, minus plus 0 0.9 into 300 minus 0 k. So, this is equal to 0 i. 0 0.9 into 180 this is 162 so minus 162 j and 0 0.9 into 300 so this is 270 k so plus 270 k so now this is the moment uh, due to the tension which is acting at b at o and we were asked to find the moment about each of the coordinate axis. So, the moment at O about the x axis is 0. This is the x component, this is the y component, this is z component. So, the moment at O about the y axis 
magnitude is 162 and the negative sign tells us that this is the clockwise. So the magnitude is 162 but it is clockwise and the units are in Newton meter remember. So the units are in Newton meter. So this is 0 Newton meter. This is 162 Newton meter and clockwise direction. So the moment at O about the y axis is clockwise. So the thumb need to be if, if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction so the thumb will point out in the in the downward direction. So if the, if the thumb is now pointing out in the downward direction this means that the moment at O is clockwise. So this the tension at B is producing the moment about the y axis in this direction. Similarly the moment at O about the z axis is plus 270. This is 270 right 270 Newton meter and this is count the, the plus sign means that this is counterclockwise moment. So now this is uh, using the cross product method we have determined this moment about uh, moment at O about the x, y and z axis respectively. Now we now we can use this particular formula to find the moment about the x, y and z while considering the components each and every component of the tension which is acting uh, at B. So now instead of this tension from B to A we are going to use these components right. So let me erase this tension from B to A let me erase this rope. Now instead of that tension we have 450 Newton component in the negative I. So we have this is the X component of the tension. So this is T B A X and this is equal to 450 Newton. We have 300 Newton component in the positive Y. So in the positive Y we have So this is 300 right so this is acting somewhere here this is T B A Y this is 300 Newton and in the positive Z we have 180 Newton component. So in the positive Z we have T B A Z this is equal to 180 Newton. Now we are going to use that formula the moment is equal to F times D. So F will be basically the component of that TBA. So we are going to consider each and every component one by one and we will try to find the moment about the X, Y and Z axis. So we can say that the moment at O about the X axis as you guys can see that these three components all these three components are intersecting with the x axis. So, so the perpendicular distance of this component from the x axis is 0, uh, the perpendicular distance of this component from the x axis is 0 and the perpendicular distance of this component from the x axis is 0. So remember that if a force or component is intersecting with the axis about which we want to find the moment, the moment about that particular axis will be 0. So since these three components are intersecting with the x axis the moment about the x axis is 0. So, so we can say that the moment at O about the x axis is 0 Newton meter. So as you guys can see we have we have determined that the moment at O about the x axis is 0 using the cross product method. Similarly we can say that the moment at O about the y axis is now you guys can see that um, this TBX is again intersecting with the x-axis, uh, sorry with the y-axis. So the perpendicular distance of this x, uh, x component from the y-axis is 0. So this means that D, this D, the perpendicular distance of this component from the y-axis is 0. So we can say that TBAX multiply by the perpendicular distance which is 0. So this means that the moment due to this x component about the y axis is 0. Similarly as you guys can see that this component this is parallel to the y axis. So it cannot produce the moment about the y axis. It cannot um, rotate this whole plate about the y axis. So it this this particular component can only accelerate this plate or this point B in the y direction. So again if a component or a force is 
parallel to a particular axis about which we want to find the moment, then that particular force or component is not going to produce the moment about that given axis. So this means that if this y component is parallel to the y axis, this is not going to produce the moment. So remember that the y component is not going to produce the moment about the y axis, the z component is not going to produce the moment about the z axis. So again this this y component is not going to produce the moment about the y axis. So now we are left with the z component. So this z component is producing the moment about the y axis in this direction. So this z component can rotate this point B about the y axis in this direction. So we can say that the moment produced by the z component A about the y axis is in this direction and if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction so the thumb will point out in the downward direction. So this means that this z component is producing the clockwise moment about the y axis. So we can say that the clockwise moment is negative and the, the component magnitude is 180 since the z component is producing the moment and the perpendicular distance of this z component from that point O is this distance. And this distance is 900 mm which is 0 0.9 meters. So 180 into 0 0.9, this is 0 0.9 meters. So only the z component is producing the moment about the y axis. The x component is not producing the moment since it is intersecting with the y axis. This y component is parallel with the y axis. So only the z component is producing the moment about the y axis. So minus. So this is again we can say that 180 you guys can see here in the cross product this was 180 into 0 0.9 with a minus sign. So again we got the same. So this is equal to minus 162 Newton meter and the minus sign tells us that the moment about the y axis at O is in the clockwise direction and the units are in Newton meters. Now the moment at O about the z axis is again you guys can see that this is the z axis the x component is again intersecting with the x axis uh, with the z axis it's not going to produce the moment about the z axis this component is parallel to the z axis it's not going to produce the moment about the z axis so only this y component is producing the moment about the z axis so this component is producing the moment about the z axis in this direction so this is the moment produced by the y component and if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction so the thumb will point out in the positive z. So this means that the y component is producing the moment about the z axis in the counterclockwise direction. If the thumb is in the positive z direction the moment is in the counterclockwise direction. So this will be 300, the force magnitude is 300 times the perpendicular distance. Now the perpendicular distance of this component from the z axis is this distance which is 0 0.9. So again this 300 into 0 0.9 this gives us 270. So this is equal to 270 Newton meter. So we got the same answer. This is the moment at O about the z axis is 270 Newton meter.